Hi, I am Paru and you are watching this video by JustTutors.com. In this video, we will be learning about congruence of triangles in which we will cover criteria for congruence of triangles. But before we go ahead with criteria, here is a warm up question for us. You can pause this video and try this question. So, in this question, we have to find the values of unknown angle X and Y. So as we can see that angle Y and 120 degrees are forming a linear pair. So we can say that angle Y equals to 180 degrees minus 120 degrees. So that's equal to 60 degrees. And as we know that angle X plus angle 50 degrees that is should be equal to 120 degrees by exterior angle property so we can say that angle x equals to 120 degrees minus 50 degrees so that will be equal to 70 degrees pat your back if both your answers are correct well done now we proceed with criteria for congruence of triangles starting with SSS criterion that is side 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 so this criteria states that if in a given pair of triangle the three sides of one triangle are exactly equal to the corresponding three sides of another triangle then the triangles are congruent by SSS criterion so as we can see in these two triangles five this side is five centimeters so is this side this side is seven centimeters so is this side and then the last side is nine centimeter and so here the same then we have SAS that is side angle side congruence criterion it states that if in a given pair of triangles two sides and an angle which is included in between the two sides are equal to corresponding sides and angle of another triangle then the triangles are congruent so as we can see here this side is 12 cm so is here this side is 15 cm so is here and the angle included or between both the sides is 50 degrees and same is here in this triangle so these two triangles are congruent by SAS criterion then we have ASA or angle side angle criterion so this states that if in a given pair of triangle two angles and a side so like in this case this angle equals to this angle angle green the one in green is equal to here this one and BC or this line equals to this one so we can say that these two triangles are congruent by ASA angle side angle criterion then we have RHS criterion that stands for right angle hypotenuse and side so as the name suggests that it is applicable only in case of right angle triangle so right angles are equal in all cases and if hypotenuse is equal in two triangles and so is one of either one of sides so then those two triangles are congruent by RHS criterion let's take an example here so we are given figure here in which trying uh, we have to prove that whether triangle AOC is congruent to triangle BOD by ASA so we can see that in triangle AOC and BOD angle C equals to angle D both are 70 degrees that's given to us and angle AOC is angle equal to angle BOD because they are vertically opposite angles so they both will be 30 degrees now by using ASA uh, sorry angle sum property we can say that angle A will be equal to angle B and we are given that AC equals to BD so AC is between angle A and C and BD is between angle B and D so hence by ASA that is angle side angle we can prove that triangle AOC is congruent to triangle BOD so based on these criteria here are some practice questions for you you can pause this video and try these questions here's one more and once you are done please make sure you check your answers from here pat your back if all your answers are correct well done thank you for watching this video for more please visit justtutors.com